Greetings, greetings, greetings. It is Testimony Tuesday, where we share testimonies from ourselves and testimonies from others to encourage the body of Christ. This testimony today is a short testimony, but I think to me it's a powerful testimony because God cares. And the name of this is Come Out From Among Them. I pray this bless somebody. I pray that whoever need this will get this message. As y'all can see back there, we still got them stockings up. Never mind that. But anyway, I want to say, check out this testimony. It's powerful. All right. This testimony was, it started, this testimony actually started in a dream. I had a dream that I was standing in front of my church. I wasn't in the pulpit, I was down on the floor. But I was standing in front of my church, preaching the gospel, preaching. And I even know the title of my sermon and everything. The title of the sermon was, Come Out From Among Them. And I'm preaching this, I'm down, I'm hard preaching this. And for some reason, I kept looking to the right side of the church at this one girl. Now in my mind, inside the dream, in my mind I'm thinking, I'm looking at her because I find her attractive. So I decided I'm gonna preach and look to the left side of church. And I'm going hard on it. And I say a few things and I always go back to come out from among them. I'm going hard y'all, hard. Come out from among them. And then my eyes go back to her again. And I don't want to lust, so I take my eyes off her. Not knowing now that God is the one putting my eyes on her. I'm preaching hard and I keep on saying, every few words I keep on saying, come out from my mouth now. Then my eyes go back to her again. I'm like, oh Lord, I'm up here preaching the gospel lusting. This what I'm thinking in my mind because I found her attractive. So I'm thinking in my mind, I'm looking this way because she's attractive. Then I realize inside the dream, while I'm still dreaming, that I'm not looking at her because I found her attractive. I'm looking at her because God gave me this message for her. I realize all this in the dream. So I'm still preaching it. Come out from among them. All right, dream over. Now, you know, people always talk about parking lot prophesying. That don't bother me, that don't offend me. Because what am I supposed to do? Grab the microphone in front of the church and tell you something private? Get out of here. So if I catch you in the parking lot, that's where I catch you. Because now, this dream is over. And I see her after, after church one day in the parking lot. So I pulled her over and I never told her this was a dream. See, I'm a dreamer, y'all. I'm a dreamer. But I never told her this was a dream because some people minimalize dreams. Yeah, so I didn't want her to do that. So I never told her this was a dream. I just told her, I said, you're hanging around somebody the Lord don't want you around. And he told me to tell you, come out from among them. What she said next blew my mind. Because first of all, I didn't even know her business. I did not know her business. This girl lived at least one hour away. I didn't know her business. And she told me that she was dating a Muslim. I said, look at God. Look how much God loves you. And look at the way he did it in a dream. I'm preaching a message called come out from among them. And God is trying to get you away from this Muslim. Look at God. God is awesome. That's the whole testimony right there, y'all. I didn't ask her her business. She offered that information. And I'm glad she offered that information because I needed to know, too, that what I was saying was real. The dream felt real to me, but I needed, I needed to know, too, that 
this is actually what the Lord was saying. Because I stepped out on faith. I wasn't 100, I'm going to be honest, I wasn't 100% sure that the Lord was telling me to do this. Come on, I'm being honest with you. I was stepping out on faith. Somebody you're hanging around, God does not want you around them. And he told me to tell you, come out from among them. I ain't asked her a business, she offered it. And I left her with that word. I ain't add nothing else to it. Like, yeah, leave him alone. Leave him alone. You can do better. I ain't add nothing to it. I just said, God said, come out from among them. And I left her like that. I don't know if she obeyed the word. But I gave it, and I went on my way, my merry way. I gave her a hug, and I, a church hug, and I went on my merry way. So anyway, and I just want to tell you, all of y'all before I end this, that it does matter to God who's in your life, who you're dating, who you're hanging around. It matters to God because God don't want anybody. If you and God got a relationship, he don't want anybody to pull you away from him. He don't want you to cheat on him. He don't want anybody to take your time. He don't want anybody to steal your heart and take it. So anyway, God is awesome. It matters to God. And that's not the first time the Lord had me tell somebody to come away from somebody else. He did it before, but I don't want to share that testimony right now. I just want to share this one.